was but little royal mood in Quebec, the very heart of the French-Canadian population. The cove where General Wolfe landed and the heights of Abraham he stormed 205 years ago were not a well-chosen place, they said, to begin the visit to Quebec. To French Canadians, memories of that historic defeat are still bitter. Less than tactful had been the organizers of this part of the Queen's visit, for the province of Quebec is dissatisfied and a minority seek independence. They speak French here and throughout the province. The past is cherished, and for many thousands, English is only a second language. No one could take lightly the danger to the Queen's life, so the authorities took their responsibility seriously. Seldom before, if ever, has Her Majesty been so heavily guarded as on this drive to the Parliament buildings. The police faced the spectators, and as Premier and Madame Lesage bade her welcome, there was already a strained air about the proceedings, though in her dignified bearing, Her Majesty betrayed no sign of it. The Premier conducted her to the Legislative Council Chamber. This is the centenary year of the Canadian Confederation. Above the throne is a painting of a meeting of the fathers of the Confederation. Perhaps the Queen hinted at modifications of the Constitution to satisfy the younger French Canadians. And outside the Parliament buildings, the separatist extremists were making their promised demonstration. The 35 were arrested. It was not a demonstration against the Queen herself, but a noisy way of protesting that French Canadians are tired of being, as they assert, the underdogs of the Dominion. To the Citadel, after that unpleasant encounter, the monarch must have turned with relief. Here she was to meet the Canadian Guards and the Royal 22nd Regiment, whose battle honours blazon their feats of arms in two world wars. Men who once served in the regiment saw its Colonel, Major General Vanier, the Governor General, accompany the Queen to the dais. In Canadian military history, an immortal name is Vimy Ridge, stormed by Canadians in April 1917. Past the Sovereign now marched the gallant successors of heroes killed in the World Wars. By her courage in those trying moments earlier, the Queen won the admiration of millions on both sides of the Atlantic. Hip, hip. Those cheers fortified her as she went on to Ottawa to receive a most warm and loyal welcome.